What's up, everybody? It's Edwin back again for Strictly Comics doing another comic book review. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just playing. <laughs> and one of my reviews today, I'm going to be reviewing Circuit Breaker issue number one by Image Comics. Okay, uh, first things first. Uh, I decided to give this comic book a shot because, number one, well, it's an image, number one. Number two, the colors really kind of popped out at me uh, that I actually like. Now, as I started reading it, I was like, oh, it's that type of comic book. Well, what do I mean by that? Like right here, this this splash. Sorry. This splash page. If you look at Circuit Breaker right here. She has like this Pokemon type of face. And so I automatically get an idea of the type of artwork that this book consists of. So uh, right away, I kind of I just didn't like it. But I still went ahead and read the story because it is a number one. I want to give you guys an opportunity to to, to, to make a decision for yourself on whether or not you want to buy this book. Um, what the story kind of has to do is uh, all the countries in the world have been destroyed except for Japan. And Japan consists of this super metropolis. Me metropolis. And uh, it's taken in all kinds of refugees from people uh, from different ethnic backgrounds, different races, so on and so forth. And it was a great war, I think, between different countries and whatnot. But the thing is, is that uh robots were manufactured to do the fighting for the people so that people didn't have to do the fighting and so that was kind of the only purpose that robots had at the time was just well not not entirely but um for the most part to do their fighting for them now robots still did like cleaning and um they worked in factories and stuff like that uh at the time but um once the war was over the robots didn't really have much of a purpose and so they're kind of in limbo um, and then also humans came to uh, hate the robots. And I'll show you right here at the bottom. Humans came to hate the robots because the robots still needed a purpose. They needed something to do. And so the robots started taking over manufacturing jobs, leaving people without any jobs to take care of themselves or their families. So that I found to be kind of interesting because a lot of us kind of experienced that and still experience that today robots taking over i mean if you look at the new mcdonald's they uh not very many pictures have been shown but because they don't want to pay the 15 dollar an hour minimum wage they've been they've built these um these touch screens where you can order your mickey d's meals and stuff like that and you swipe your card and the order will come up from whoever is cooking or whoever's preparing the meals and so they're going to eliminate people from taking your actual order and put these touch screens in place of other workers. So uh, there's a lot actually to relate to this because you see, you can kind of see this happening, just not in this way uh, in our reality today. In the beginning, there's this robot called Fortin Brass, the one in the panel that I showed you, this guy right here. And he's actually seeking vengeance for fighting the wars for the humans. And he basically just i guess wants to take out take people out and he he does take out one guy it's kind of crazy because this one right here he actually has the guy in his hand and he takes his sword and his sword and sticks it right through him so like not very graphic but you kind of get the idea of what's going on and the and this row and there's there's just like a lot of tension i guess with humans against robots and robots against humans. So, um, and until everybody kind of finds this purpose and what it is that they, they can be doing that's productive and fruitful. Um, there's just always like this tension between the two, between the robots and the humans. And throughout this process, we kind of get introduced to circuit breaker that that's her name. She has a Japanese type of name. If I'm not mistaken, I just don't remember what it is. But I'll call her Circuit Breaker. We get not only, which I assume is her first appearance, but you also get her origin story. And she was created by this old guy, this old professor who was an inventor and a creator of robots. And he created her because 
he wanted to uh god i forget why he created her so because people didn't trust humans the professor created her to protect the humans against other robots and one of the things that was interesting is that she within her program she knows how to destroy and disassemble other robots now she doesn't have the experience in doing it but she has the knowledge of doing it and that's one of the things that she actually talks about i know how to do it but i i've never done it before i don't have the experience to do it but it's in her programming and he she's actually built as a disguise as uh what's his name god i forget the professor's name um I, here i'll show you what he looks like here's 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 him right there building her kind of assembling her the old professor i'll call him <laughs> and she's supposed to be disguised as his granddaughter and in the very beginning with her fight against Fortin Brass, she gets injured and she's kind of exposed a little bit that she's a robot, but she kind of covers it up and hides it because she doesn't want the humans to know. So she's kind of evading and and trying to stay out of sight of any humans so that, you know, they don't start to look towards her as, oh, you're the enemy or we got to destroy you or, you know, you're trying to hung, hide among us. Um, but it's funny because other robots know that she's an actual robot and they just try to uh, pressure her to choose sides because another war is coming and she needs to choose the side of the robots instead of the humans. And so there's pressure by the robots towards her because of that. So uh, overall, the, the comic book is 22 pages, which I like a lot. They don't shortchange you. It is only a two ninety nine cover which is affordable, but uh, it's just not my style of comic book to read. It's uh, it, it may be more for, you know, teeny boppers or just people that like that whole Pokemon style of artwork. Um, you know, and I don't, I don't know. The story is okay. I guess I definitely see the potential in the story. Um, at, toward the end of the book though, you get this one guy, this old, he looks like some kind of old kung fu master. His name is Sen, S-E-N. This is him right here. <clears throat> right there. And what's interesting about this guy is he talks about how he has appeared out of his sleep a week ago. And he himself, he's trying to find his purpose in this world today. Because I guess he's ancient or whatever and he's old and um, the world has changed quite a bit. And they, they, he has come to realize that uh, because the world has changed, he needs to change the world and not allow himself to change or conform to the way the world is now. He needs to, he wants to do the opposite and change the world instead. Uh, another thing that's very interesting, and of course these are all spoilers, is that this sin is discuss having a discussion with another robot who has the body of Fortin Brass and the robot is trying to bring Fortin Brass to life and Sen is able to give a demonstration of who he is and what he can do to try to form this alliance with the robot and he ends up bringing Fortin Brass to life without the robots doing any kind of repairs or anything like that on him. And that was very interesting. So there was obviously some kind of value there with Sin and with him forming an alliance with the other robots. And it doesn't, uh, I think their intentions of forming an alliance together is to change the world instead of them conforming to the way the world is today. So, um, you know, I, I just really had a hard time getting past the artwork. Um, the book isn't really that bad. It's just not my style of read. Uh, overall, I think I'll give it a solid, uh, you know, four out of five. I'm not going to continue reading this. I just wanted to give it a shot. If anybody else has read it, you know, let me know what you think. Um, but, you know, that's my opinion. That's my rating on this comic book. Circuit Breaker, issue number one. So, uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, I always appreciate it. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. And as always, everybody, make sure you keep God number one in your life. 
Enjoy your comic books. But God bless you guys. I'm out of here. Deuces.